Well, hello, Snapchat. It is I, your culinary correspondent, Fabrizio. Back here again with another episode of Cooking with Fabrizio. Now, normally, Fabrizio likes to stay on the savior side of life, but every once in a while, you need to join the sweeter, softer side of life. That's why on today's episode, we will be taking off the cooking robe and putting on the baking mitts and making very warm brownies. First things first, I must let everyone know that Fabrizio may be known for baking, but not this type of baking. You see, this will be my first time making the brownies. So, I may have went a little overboard as we make our first attempt at cookie bottomed Reese's Pieces filled brownies, but it will be glorious. So, the very first step in making the amazing brownies is you must cover your bases. And you may say, Fabrizio, what is this that you mean? Cover your bases. Well, let me explain. You see, when you have a beautiful assistant slash girlfriend slash love of your life named Rosalina, who tries to upkeep a very beautiful figure and healthy, healthy, healthy dinner and and oh, shit. I'm of what I'm saying because I'm nervous. Basically, what I am saying is that you must stop the wound before it happens. So what do you do? You buy flowers. You buy the beautiful flowers, so it's the first thing that she sees before she walks home after helping the children of the youth. And you, you must make it that it's, it's okay, basically is what I'm trying to say. Step number two, I think, right? Yeah. Um, the first thing, no, this will be the second thing. The second thing that you would do is you have to make sure that everything's ready to rock. So what does that mean? Just like a beautiful woman, you must preheat. <laughs> So, it turns out Fabrizio made his first mistake. Um, I didn't realize how many eggs I would need. So, I, I bought all these. And it turns out, here in the Casa Brisky fridge, we have a whole unopened thing of eggs. But that's okay. You can never go wrong with any eggs. Maybe I'll just cook them, and, or I'll, I'll hatch them, and then have chickens to make more eggs. Business idea. Okay, ladies, I get it. I know what it's like being in the kitchen. It's hard. It's tough. And especially this last part, the whisking part. That's why you need to grab your man. You see, hey, baby, I know that you're really good at whisking. You literally just go like this. It's just like being without me. That's how you need to sell it, ladies. You need to tell them, if you mess up any of this whisking, you'll be doing this forever. Okay guys, so the next step after you whisk the shit out of that brownie mix and my wrist hurts, I need a little bit more practice. Sorry for the interruption, I started laughing and, and choking on, on the brownie mix. But anyway, now you take the little Pillsbury man and his little poops and you put his little poops into the pan and you smeared it all out. So, I want to introduce you to my friend named Reese. And if you take Reese and you make them smaller, you get Reese's peanut butter cups. And if you take the Reese's peanut butter cups and you put them on top of the cookie, you're gonna have a food gasm. So this is what halfway of the project looks like. Now, don't worry about these extra pieces there and what we'll happened the other side of it. It's none of your business, and that do I have chocolate on my face. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, fudge yeah. Okay, so the brownie is in. Now I must admit, when you look at it, you see the level of where the brownie ends to the top of the rim? I'm a little worried <laughs> that there will be some overflowage. Now hopefully, 
the culinary gods will descend upon my oven and make it so that it just rises up straight. Because you gotta admit, the cookie dough factor, that shit's gonna rise. This is gonna rise. There could be a disaster. Let's start praying. So, it looks like the brownies are going to be amazing. They're a little under right now. I'm going to let the carrot eat over cooking finish them up. But then, when they're ready, I'll cut one open and let you see. So now, that Rosalina has come home, and we got her the flowers. That way, we assess the damage. We can now open up the brownies to see how they came out. I hope I cooked them long enough. I don't know. I don't think I did a good job. Mm. They look f***ing phenomenal. 